Oh, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> See you ladies later. <laughs> All right, let's head it back. Yeah. Ooh. Happening club out there, people. Happening club. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let's just park right here for a second. All right. Just my music there. All right. So our nightclub needs a new promotion. Soon we're going to have some new posters up on the wall too. Right on. Alright everybody, welcome back. I am the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online After Hours DLC. Yeah. So I thought I'd do the introduction now that we're away from the club pounding. <laughs> and today, our nightclub needs a little bit more of our own promotion. So, you know, um, part of those promotion missions, Tony got us a, uh, a chrome a chrome helicopter that we personally had to fly and nobody else can apparently <laughs> to drop flyers all over the town so they got a chrome helicopter somewhere so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of one-upsmanship if you ask me and show them who the new the real nightclub owner is <laughs> so a good way of doing that of course is elitus travel a blimp yay yep the blimp brought back into the game all right, so the blimp has actually been gone for a while. So the original GTA 5 game had the atomic blimp come out in it, but it was unavailable online, as far as I know. And uh, um, it was actually, uh, you know, it was actually an okay blimp. Then you had the um, the atomic blimp, or not the atomic, uh, the zero gas blimp, which came out with the enhanced versions. And uh, the zero gas version is actually a little bit better, barely noticeable, but slightly faster, slightly better. And then now we've brought out, finally, after all this time, the blimp with the After Hours DLC. So just regular blimp now instead of the other ones. And uh, it seats four. Awesome. So a pilot and three passengers. Yeah, it's too bad. We'll have to get some passengers on. It's just me here at the moment. We'll have to get some passengers on later and check it out. And you can actually have people on top. Now, obviously, it's not safe. You can fall off. But you can actually walk around on top. It's a fairly stable uh, platform, depending on who's piloting. <laughs> all right. So that's kind of cool. Not every vehicle you can do that with, like we've covered before. Now, uh, the blimp price is normally $1,190,350. So you do want to get the unlocked trade price, which we have here, which is $895,000. Okay, so that saves you uh, almost $300,000. And the way you do that is by doing 10 promotion missions. So some people think those promotion missions have a lower payout. I agree. At least, though, if you plan on buying a blimp, you get a little bit more out of it, and you get about almost 300000 off buying a blimp. So, now that said, this is definitely, uh, just to get out of the way, this is a collector's vehicle. I would say a fun vehicle, unique vehicle, uh, have fun with friends vehicle. It is not um, <laughs> anything really useful, but it is fun. So we'll go into that. All right. So, select the available libraries to order. So there is, uh, should be eight libraries? Or, yeah, eight libraries. So Chappelle, that one. Ecola, Burger Shot, Redwood, Sprunk, <laughs> next conversation. <laughs> Bisswasser, tempting. <laughs> Jackal Racing, and then your club. Yay, Studio Los Santos for us, which is, which is really cool. So either you get the 8th library, so I think if you bought this without a nightclub, you would not get the savings, and you would have to choose from these 7 libraries. Um, library choices, yeah. So if you have a nightclub, you get an extra library, which is your club. Now, if you guys change the nightclub names on your club later on, you still it'll automatically change to your current club. So you don't get more than one blimp, and uh, you don't get more than one library that way. Maybe you can buy more than one. But, you know, and it, some people are complaining about that. But, uh, you know, I think it's the same for other things. Like if you buy the uh, monster truck and stuff, unless you get them free as part of the returning player awards or something, um, you, uh, you have to buy each one if you wanted different colors and different flags, like different vehicles almost, unfortunately. So anyway, so you do want to pick your library because it's basically permanent. Okay, and if you do get the nightclub library, like we are going to get the Studio Los Santos library, it'll change automatically if you ever change your nightclub. And there's some different looks for all the different nightclub ones out there. 
Yeah. Now that said, there is also another four libraries um, that only show up in missions for the DJs. So there's one for Solomon, there's one for uh, Tale of Us, there's one for Dixon, and one for Black Madonna. And I think those only available, they only show up on promotion missions. So there is some other libraries out there for this. This may be the age of targeted Life Invader ads, but when it comes to large-scale public advertising, there is such a thing as a winning formula. <laughs> Get a huge balloon of highly flammable gas. Put the name of your nightclub on the side. Fly it low over the city. Strike a match. And wait for the headlines to come to you. <laughs> no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> Bye now. All right, now there'll probably be a, a, a sale on it in like a few hours. I'm doing buying this late night. Um, just before the sale changes on before the new DJ Dixon comes out on Tuesday so so hopefully you guys get a sale coming up soon even further all right at least it's not too expensive though it might seem pricey to some people like a million dollars give or take depending on whether you get the trade price or not but when but when you compare it to all the other aircraft it's actually a pretty good price you know comparatively speaking for such a big thing too <laughs> thanks some people think so I think I'm always going broke all the time. <laughs> just bought a document forgeries just for the fun of it. And maybe that makes me the one percent actually right there. I don't know. <laughs> Buying it for the fun of it. Uh, for the decorations. But I'm going broke. Yeah, well, we're down to the 12 million range. But that's okay. 10 million is kind of my buffer. I know a lot of people say you should have more, and I agree. You should. But uh, I'm more of a spender, you know, like I don't, I don't save money very much. <laughs> I only have it there to spend it. I used to be really, in the earlier episodes, I think I was worse. But, um, but then I started trying to keep 10 million as my buffer. And so now I'm trying to move it up to 15 or 20 million as the buffer. You know, my, my new zeros, basically. So now we're going to go into Pegasus. Get back on track here. So this is a Pegasus vehicle, for those wondering. And it is not available in your hangar. You cannot put it in there. Hello. Oh, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Blimp Studio Los Santos. So nice. your specialty vehicle is available for collection right now. We hope you're very happy, sir. Hmm. I'm very happy. <laughs> Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Nightclub management. Shagwire coming through. <laughs> Shagwire away. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that was a bit different, I think. She said, uh, see, your special vehicle is available. Now, maybe I just missed that on other ones, but she doesn't say that uh, with a lot of the other things I call her for, I don't think. Usually it's just your... Well, maybe I just hear her call aircraft too often. Yeah, special vehicle. Your new blimp is now confirmed available. <laughs> you don't say. I think they already delivered it, but... Okay, but thanks for the... Oh, tell me. Sorry. Don't worry. For your safety, I'm going to be in a blimp very soon. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay. Take me to her, Jaguar. Where is our blimp? Oh, there it is. Just kind of blinked in there. Ooh, I do like the library choice, and that's just pure fluke that I that I got the Studio Los Santos and with that. I like that, the kind of the gray slate. But some of the other ones have black and stuff for the uh, the Cofagnus, the prison, the other ones, and uh, Galaxy, I think, too. Very cool. Look at that size of this thing. Wow. I got the shirt on too. <laughs> yeah, so this is another cool thing that I heard about. A couple of friends. It's got speakers. Loudspeakers. Yeah, pretty cool. Very cool. So, and these speakers do work. So we've talked about that before, that some, some there are radios out there, and that's one of the features of the lowriders, um, is that you can pop your trunk and be a mobile uh, radio. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So in other words, that people will hear you. Most of the time you don't hear other people's radio inside their vehicles, right? Um, or you'll have to be outside and even then it's kind of muffled, but that's actually a speaker. Like as if you found somebody with a radio out in the wild, which does exist out there. You know, certain properties will have a radio on. It's kind of like that, an outdoor, actual working radio. Yeah. Stereo, it'd be nice if you could pass on your custom music, but it doesn't edge you. For obvious reasons, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's hop in. Whoa, okay, well, instant zoom out, and I mean zoom out. <laughs> that is a big zoom. Okay, so we got an overhead zoom. There's inside, nice, nice. So we got here, so we've got our, our directions, yeah. We've got our altimeter right in the top right, yeah. So the blue one there, the blue and brown, that's your, uh, that's, that's your ground. That's, um, I forget the name for that, but basically it's your compass with the ground. It lets you know where the ground is. And that's our actual compass to the right of that. And above that would probably be airspeed. 
And to the top right of that is the altimeter. So that'll tell you how, fa how high you are going. Looks like there's room for a second co-pilot. It's too bad none of the co-pilot seats really do much in the game. It'd be nice if either co-pilot could actually fly it, like in some of these vehicles. That'd be awesome. And two passengers. So in a sense, it's two pilots and two passengers, but it's actually three passengers. All right. And it gives you big zoom levels. Yep, nice and quiet hum. Hitting the gas, and up we go. All right, another cool thing about these uh, blimps is that they have included flares. Yeah, just to get everybody's attention. <laughs> and some people think it has unlimited flares because you can you can fire them off like crazy. Now, just so you guys know, when you see the flares, it'd be nice if they actually worked, but for now, those flares are only one flare. Even though you see four of them fire off, you know, um, if somebody fires your, a missile at you, they only work for one missile per flare. So if there's two missiles coming at you, you need two different flares. Yeah, it'd be nice if each flare set had the potential of taking out four missiles, but it does not. And we've covered that before, but just a reminder. So it's actually fast, as you can tell. It's actually quite fast. Let's, uh, where are we going to fly? Where are we going to fly? I think I was going to fly to the hangar and check it out, but I already found out that, uh, that it is not hangarable. It's just too bad. I really think it should be. I mean, yeah, I know a lot of people wouldn't bother, and I probably wouldn't for long, but it's a hell of a sign in there. It would be looking pretty awesome and huge in there. Yep. Now, speed-wise, it actually is, uh, you know, slow, and slow to turn because it's a blimp and huge. But it actually will go faster than uh, the Babushka, which is a shame. Rockstar needs to fix the Babushka still. Really thought they would by now. Really did. Maybe we'll fly to the airbase anyway. Maybe we'll see if we can land at the office. Yeah. Because can't really do anything at the airbase anyway other than land on their runway. It's too bad. Too bad. Maybe we'll go there after. So... She's easy to land. She's apparently quite tough um, for what she is. Now, she's weak. She's about as strong as a civilian aircraft, but she's stronger than you'd expect. So one RPG or anything like that will definitely take you out. But that said, um, if you somebody shoots at you with uh, the, uh, the explosive sniper rounds, things like that, it actually takes six shots for most people's testing to, uh, to uh, explode it. So that's actually a lot tougher than people would have, would have thought. I would have guessed one or two, maybe three would take it out, right? And I hope they fixed the babushka back to that, because I think it was like three for the babushka. So you got to be kidding me if an aircraft like this could take three, and a flying fortress designed to take some punishment can't take half as many. That's got to be, got to be something wrong there. Now, so this will outrun the um, the uh, uh, babushka, and it'll actually outrun the uh, cargo bob helicopter too. But it does uh, take a little bit to get the speed going. Yeah. Let's see, what else to cover with this one? So we covered all the liveries. Yep, much stronger than we would think. Not quite, uh, basically this blimp, uh, I mentioned the earlier versions. Most people figure this is like our version of the atomic blimp, the first blimp. Unfortunately, the slightly better blimp, the zero gas blimp, for the enhanced versions, we did not get. But that's interesting to note, maybe in the future we'll have an upgraded blimp, because there is the enhanced editions zero gas blimp uh, model that we did not get. For what that's worth to people to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we covered the speakers too. I'll have to check out some of that too. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, let's, let's check out some cinematic views. Ooh, look at that. Oh my. I wish all my videos were like this because, you know, this is like a thumbnail's dream. <laughs> Get your thumbnails here. Get your thumbnails. Wow. See, I forget thumbnails. I know a lot of other people set it all up, but I try to keep my thumbnails wherever possible, almost all the time. Um, the thumbnail is from the video, you know, not from a setup. Although I'm tempted to set up sometimes for my thumbnails because uh, they look better, but, but sometimes I just like to keep it authentic that way. So it's a thumbnail taken from somewhere in the video. That's been the reason why I like the cinematic driving. I've always liked cinematic driving, but nowadays doing YouTube, it, it gives me a chance to find some thumbnails because I always forget to get them. So I just go through and now oh, cinematic moment, cinematic moment, thumbnails. But this blimp is just the coolest. That is awesome. And you can, it actually flies decently, you know, probably about a minute and a half or so from here to, uh, to the base. That's not bad. 
And even though they say it turns slow, I find it turns actually all right. I think what what people weren't doing enough of is, is you got to turn it with uh, low power. See, I'm not gassing when I turn here. And hey, I'm using the rudders. It's LJT. Yeah, bales and stuff. Bales, yeah. Right? <laughs> weed farm's ready. Woohoo. See, if we could just go to the weed farm and then drop that from the uh, blimp, I bet you we'd get a good crowd. <laughs> I bet we would. If we're going to do free work, well, let's do big. Go home. Big, go big or go home. <laughs> but yeah, back to the turning thing. I think that it does actually turn faster than some people think. But you got to let go of the gas if you're going like it, it uh, you know like a plane will do wider circles when you've got the gas down right if you want to let go you hit your brake and pull back and then it actually isn't as bad kind of use that inertia to turn it yeah and it breaks apart like you think it crashes to the earth in pieces <laughs> all right guys well i think that's coming to the end of our studio los santos blip Oh yes, I was going to land it at the office, right over here. I wanted to see if I could land it at the office. I'm sure I can manually, I think, maybe. But the question is, will it let me give you the pop-up to do so? Yeah, so against people, I don't know if I'd suggest this. It's probably not the best vehicle to go fighting with. And no weapons are accessible, just flares. I'm not sure for passengers, maybe they can shoot flares out the windows to help you. <laughs> And no pop-up is appearing to hop into my office. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. It's too bad you can't take it in the hangar. It's too bad you can't. Uh, seems like it doesn't have an auto land. But it should. See, it fits. It fits just fine. Holy cow, does it fit. It looked like so small up there from way back there. And now I'm here. It's like, yeah, wow. See, really, when you're landing this thing, you have to worry about this whole size, so it makes you got like plenty of space to land it. But that said, you know, as far as wheels go, it's super easy. It's very durable down here, and this is the only spot you really got to worry about. That's got a nice three-wheel approach, so it's actually quite easy to land. Very cool. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, hopefully our nightclub is too. All right, <laughs> there's nice Studio Los Santos. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, take care. I'm the Mizzen Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you again soon. Yep. Hello, Patreon fans. Thanks for uh, being a Patreon fan. <laughs> Supporting us on Patreon. And I'm going to have to do some more stuff on there, too. Yeah. Stuff everywhere. Stuff, stuff, stuff. All right. I'm going to have to go tell Penny. Penny, we have a blimp. Not for the company. For the nightclub. But, you know. Want to take a ride? <laughs> Penny. Good to see you, boss. Good to see you too. We got a blimp. Hello. See my shirt? Yep, yeah, this guy's got a blimp. <laughs> Come dig a ride.